In today's story, we get the single biggest plot twist in the entire series, my Valentine being forced into a marriage over a children's trading card game. And if we know anything about this show, when it comes to cards, there is no higher law of order. You must comply. <laughs> Force a grown woman to marry someone she barely knows. All my fellow and future outlaws, this is his card game vs. humanity, and I am that Anna KK Double G. Here's the recap of the show I used to think was Duel Monsters, but I had a feeling this might happen when the lead writer from Bold and the Beautiful took over. But of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget that sub, that bell, that like, hit up the Patreon if you want to support me. You leave a comment telling me if any of you have ever thought about swooping down on a kite to steal your future bride. Be honest, at least a few of you have, haven't you? Be almost as honest as our heroes who finally pull up to the Battle City Finals. There's literally no one around for miles, so let's park here so we can get away from the non existent traffic that'll be around tomorrow. So he tries to mock Mai for losing at Duelist Kingdom despite only lasting literally one round longer. But they're asking why Mai bothered to help him at all back in Duelist Kingdom when he had no tournament prize card. Mai says he looked totally pathetic and his sister story touched her, but never mind any of that shit because Joey found some ninjas. Apparently they're represented by this movie star, John Claude Magnum, a man with a name that definitely doesn't make you roll your eyes. Nope, definitely not. He's also a man who decides to make an entrance in the most empathetic way imaginable. <laughs> Okay, whoever just drove that car through a building was literally a few feet away from hitting Yugi and all of his friends. Like, if they hadn't continued walking forward, the show would just be over. All thanks to John Claude Magnum. Yes, John Claude, it's him. The guy that Joey's been obsessed with. That guy that we've known for about 10 seconds now that almost just killed him and all of his friends a few seconds ago. Hope you didn't mind that entrance, kid, or why there was absolutely no indication that there was some sort of movie stunt going on in this abandoned street that had all the lights off. Hope you didn't mind that. I guess movie stars are the one thing in Yu-Gi-Oh that are still revered enough to be competing with duelists. He walks over to mine to tell that he's coming back for her. Have you forgotten the offer you made me exactly one year ago? It was an offer of love, my. An offer of love, you say? Friendship and honor? Compassion and romance? Sex. I guess they had a card game together on the boat on the way to Duelist Kingdom because go figure they don't show the one duel that she won legitimately. You've got spunk. I like a girl who can stand up to me and tell me what's on her mind. I mean, if that's your thing, then... Welcome to America. He's a very sane individual, so he offers to marry Mai right on the spot right there because mommy issues, what are those? Being rejected and telling him to come back in a year when he can actually beat her in a duel, which honestly probably shouldn't be too hard. He shoves his giant rock right in her face just as she's about to reject him. Then Joey really, really wants her to sleep with this movie star and give up her entire life just because he thinks he's a cool ninja. Either that or he's just a little bitch and he wants to visit her at Hollywood Mansion after she divorces him and takes half his stuff. Give me one good reason why I should marry this clown. Well, I mean, I just told you one reason why, so again, welcome to America. Because the children's training card game is the way to decide very important life decisions like this. I agree to duel this chump because as Duke Devlin puts it, this guy has some serious kung fu skills and we probably shouldn't piss him off or, you know, he might beat up some actual miners to prove how awesome he is to the woman he loves. I asked Joey if he can use his duel disc, but without a moment's notice, he strikes an epic pose and reveals his own duel disc as well as five locator cards that he apparently won during this tournament. Which definitely means unless the Shizu just straight up takes the cards from him afterwards that there's definitely more cards than there should be. I'll take her place in the finals, not to mention her hand in Marriage. Oh yes, such a healthy way to start off a marriage. Have you heard of a prenup? I accepts the duel because she says that she's not a prize to be won, something that would require the knowledge of actually winning prizes in the first place. Starting off surrounded by studio lights that no one explains where they came from or who turned them on. Magnum begins the duel by summoning the ninja commander Asuka, who has the special ability of summoning another lesser ninja to the field upon summon. Actually, no back row to speak of. Mai takes her turn and summons the Amazon swordswoman to quickly lay waste to the lesser ninja for 1,100 points of damage. Not only that, he's much shorter than he looks on screen. Excuse me, Joey. Do you have a problem with short people? People, that like somehow being a short man is a negative thing that sometimes we have to stand on a step stool to get to the top of the cupboard you know what? You're fucking right! Magnum is a great duelist who summons another ninja commander, giving him a third lesser ninja as well that can't do anything because Synchro and Ixie summoning is just a future dream at this point. As you'd expect, Mai doesn't even summon another monster, just destroying the commander with Amazon, a swordswoman, leaving this chump with 1800 life points. That was his plan all along, because once both of these ninjas are sent to the graveyard, he can tribute a third ninja to summon this massive 1600 attack point monster called Grandmaster Ninja Shogun. Instead of being scared though, Mai says the same thing every teenager says growing up every time they saw a new Mortal Kombat adaptation. What a surprise. More more ninjas. Ever think about trying a different role? Now Magnum has five ninjas on the field, so useful when your extra deck is still called a fusion deck. Joy Mai's Amazon is in attacking with all four in a ninja star shower that leaves her with 1800 life points. At least you'll have a husband who's a Battle City finalist. Really? 
You're so sensitive, Jean. Stop flirting, mate. It's too much on the line. Joey, I don't think you understand what flirting is. Like, holy crap, that legit made me laugh out loud. Kay is very worried that Maya might lose this duel and end up having to marry this jerk because you must honor the duelist code. If you lose, you are getting married and you have no choice in the matter. Magnum sets a card face down and ends his turn, letting Mai take the offensive by summoning the Harpy Lady to the field. Second, the Grandmaster Ninja, who has a trap card that never activated called Smoke Ball. Like, it just kind of happens and negates the attack. It it just, it didn't even have a card art. You'll be limping down the aisle alone when I'm done with you. Joke's on her, you know that man's down for pegging. We're nearing the end of this duel, so of course it's time to activate some fake cards, this one called the Kite of Ninja. The equip card that makes this Grandmaster Shogun completely untargetable by effects and monster attack. Also, it allows him to sacrifice a lesser ninja to attack Mai directly, shocking our hero down to 200 life points. We ask Yugi if there's any way that Mai can win. Yugi literally just says, yeah, use Harpy's Feather Duster, no further explanation. Oh, he hears this, and like a good friend starts yelling at Mai at the top of his lungs asking her if she has it in his hand why haven't you used it man i'm just trying to be a good friend and help he can't hear me yelling at you and giving away your strategy my draws elegant egotist before we spend the next three minutes locked in a friendship circle as every main character now a side character cheers my on telling her what a good duel she is and how tough she is despite never actually seeing her win a duel in person she plays the magic card turning one cyber harpy into three and destroying all of his lesser ninjas and somehow not winning the duel like they had 1800 attack and they had like 300 and 700 why, why is it not over? Why don't you leave this duel to the grown-ups, you little twerp? Yes, that's right, little kid of 16 that I'm barely taller than. Leave this children's trading card game to the grown-ups. Us grown-ups who base our very important life decisions based on the outcome of a game that's meant for people half our age. Magnum summons one more ninja to the field. Oh wait, nope, it's dead. Maya has another lovely fake card called Grave Arm. Apparently it's quick play, has no cost or restrictions, and just sends the monster to the graveyard and your turn is over. It's Maya's final turn, and since that beautiful fake kite keeps the ninja out of play, it also doesn't protect him from a triple assault by our harpies, actually winning the duel in plain sight right in front of of everybody. I mean, the episode must be over, right? We're just we're just done here. Nothing else happened. Nope. Somehow this ninja was just a stunt double flying in the air the entire time. Something that Kaiba's probably gonna have to explain a little bit later. But never mind that. Let's just watch this grown woman get captured perfectly by this net and a guy flying in a jetpack wearing a ninja costume. This highly popular movie star literally tries to kidnap a grown woman and take her into his limo. I mean, this pool stick that's sticking out of the wall before our hero Joey comes to save her. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, the episode ends with the death of Joey thanks to my titties. But I mean, if there's a way to go, right? Well, that's it for this week's episode. I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, a shout out to all my patrons. We're finally at episode 80, ladies and gents. Expect season two complete to come out pretty soon, so you can give me more of that sweet, sweet watch time. This has been the Man from Earth with all the girls, ladies and gentlemen. This weekend's the Royal Rumble and an ancient prophecy break. Saturday's gonna be crazy, and I'm not gonna be sober. Later. So, of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget that sub, that bell, that like, hit up the co- Hit up the cope. I guess we. I guess Yugi. St I guess Yugi stars. Wow. Either that, or he's just a little bitch and he wants to visit her Hollywood mansion after. An equip card that makes this ninja come. Quick, quick, quick. Uh.